This episode of Hydro Show is sponsored by Hydro Mag, the UK's independent hydroponics magazine. Now, before we end this week's show, we visited Wortley Hydroponics in Leeds, where Nico and Dean went through some different extraction fans. Okay, so we're here with Dean in uh, Whiteley Hydroponics in Leeds, and we have a selection of fans uh, to go through to see which sort of fan you'd use in which application and why. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if we want to start having a look at the system here, RVK. Yeah, Nico, this uh, the RVK eight inch. This model is a uh, very run of the mill fan, German made engineering is really good. It won't let you down, yeah. and I'd recommend a two or three light grow room. Where does it sort of sit compared to the other sort of fans uh, on the market? Yeah, there are a lot of fans on the market, all varying in different prices, but for a standard RVK 8 inch, you're yeah. looking at about £100. Okay, so that's the RVK fan. Um, I've brought along the Hyper fan, which is a new fan that's going to be distributed through HRD for the new year. Right. Um, so, similar sort of motor that's set in the Isomax fans, it's using you know, similar sort of fan to to how they're, they're moving the air, and it's a DC current operated motor, right. and a high pressure motor as well, so generally you'll get higher pressure than you will compared to your sort of equivalent RVK fans. Mm -hmm. To explain a little bit more about this, I mean it looks smaller than the RVKs, I'm assuming that's a six inch fan. This one's a six inch, yeah, because it's um, a turbine motor, it's, it, you know, it's going straight through six inch, so it looks, looks like a lot smaller unit. Right. Um, goes in line with your ducting obviously um, it actually comes with a manual speed controller on as well that you can you can plug into it all ah, right yeah um, so what's the sort of air movement from this fan then nico uh, with this fan it's more with the six inches slightly under the um rvk what the rvk is rated the high powered rvk is rated right uh -huh. but the pressure that it can cope with is higher so you uh, when it comes to moving it around ducts in bends or through filters you'll you'll generally get a lot better pressure um, with the with the hyper fan. Right. What is the sort of price difference between this new hyper fan and the RVK fan? Uh, it's similar in the difference with the, the tornadoes to the RVKs. They haven't, because it's not been released yet, they haven't got the official price, but it's going to be pitched at around the similar sort of price mark as the, the Isomax and the tornadoes are. I guess we move now to the solar and Palau fan. Probably the main competitor to the, the Isomax in terms of looks and what they're, you know, claim to do on the market are both silenced fans. Yeah. Uh, main difference it's obviously the looks of it, it's plastic mm -hmm. housing yeah. unit. Um, it comes with these two spigots here, so it's easy to, to get a good seal with your ducts in around. Um, yeah. You can remove the centre of the fan when it comes to cleaning it without taking it out of your ducting. You can just unclip the, the, central, the central part of the fan. Right. I am assuming that these are going to be quite quiet then. Yeah, they are. They are really quite fast. What they're, they're, they're pitched as basically is a silent fan. Right. They move a, a good amount of air. Um, yeah, and what sort of price would you be looking at on one of these in a six inch fan? Six inch one, it'll be around the 200 pound mark. Again, it's, right. it's pitched at a 580, I think it moves, 580 meters cubed, the solar and plow moves. Although it has two speed settings, so you can yeah. wire it to a lower speed setting if you don't need the full capacity. So you, it would be perfect for a two light grow room? Yeah, yeah, you'd be, yeah, it'd be ample for that, yeah. So obviously, we've gone through the, the features of the, the solar and plow a little bit there. Um, like we were saying, compared to the RVKs, they're a lot more money. Yeah. Um, how, how, how do you think that would go down in this sort of marketplace? It depends, really. I mean, everybody's everybody's strapped for cash these days, so they do want they do want the silent air movement. But mm. you know, are they, are they prepared to pay two hundred pounds for a fan that will be totally silent? You know, mm. or rather choose again a budget line fan. Wortley Hydroponics, a new hydroponics superstore in Leeds. Open seven days a week. Wortley Hydroponics. Growing success. Visit www.wortleyhydroponics.co.uk. Find us on Facebook and YouTube. Following on from the S&P then, uh, we've got the Isomax fan just next to it. Similar cylindrical looking fan. Again, I've brought this one with me here. Um, it works with uh, the turbine based motor, has the impellers to direct the air out more. It's quite a small parts of it, but it's quite worth mentioning. These two little bits here make it really easy to mount and install and hang up in your room. Yeah. Um, might sound like a bit of a small feature, but it makes a big difference when it comes to installing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I can see this is a, an eight inch fan again. Uh, I mean, would, would people struggle 
to maybe get this in a say a 1.2 meter tent you know with the filter on as well it can be a con yeah it can be a concern you know if you're yeah. in a 1.2 meter tent you need your fan and your filter you might have to think about possibly having the fan outside or rearranging it somehow right. so you can fit it in but mm -hmm. yeah certainly in a small space obviously with the length of it it could yeah cause you issues but and uh, again, we come back to pricing. I mean, are these a lot more expensive than, say, your average RVK fan? Again, yeah, it's, you, you, you're going to be looking at at least double the price. Right. Um, what I did notice about this one, Nico, is it has a, a speed controller with it. It does, So yep. you've got three speeds. Uh, yep. Obviously, in the winter months, you know, you can you can lower it down so you're not making your grow room too cold. Indeed, yeah. Obviously, in the summer months, you can make the fan run a lot, lot quicker, yep. moving more air and cooling your air that you require. Yeah, and obviously, it's a lot easier to do that with the controller than, than having to rewire the fan. Like you, can, you can get a lower speed setting on the solar and Palau, but you need to, to wire it to that setting. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so we've been through these four fans here. Um, and we've got the, the box fan from Tornado at the end here, which you're a bit more familiar with. Uh, do you want to talk us through the features of that? Yeah, uh, Tornado's box fan. This is a 10-inch version. Right. Uh, they claim it will move 1,500 air. Mm -hmm. uh, they do do an 8-inch version, which will move 1,000 air. Yeah. Um, so a little bit more than the RVK does move, but yeah. obviously reflects in the price. Yeah. Um, for the air that they do move, they're relatively quiet. Yeah. So you've got a, a box there with the insulation in, haven't you? Yeah, they did send us a box uh, to show us how they do insulate them right. um, very, very well. Right. Obviously, to keep noise, if noise is going to be an issue, yeah. then uh, the box fan is also a good choice to have. Right. And in terms of like uh, mounting it, it looks a little bit like it could be a tricky one to mount up, do you? Is yeah, they can be a little bit weighty. Um, I'd not recommend you to hang it off a of bars from a 1.2 metre tent, but right. for a, the bigger greenhouses, I'd definitely get it on the bracket, on the wall, yeah. nice and safe. Right. Okay, so uh, yeah, we've had a look at all the fans here in a bit of detail. Uh, so just to summarise, really, what uh, sort of fan you'd use in what situation? And yeah. Why you know why you choose one over another essentially? I definitely choose the RVK. You know, for the budget-wise, you know, for the money cost. Yeah. Uh, obviously, if space is a premium, the hyper fan will is a lot smaller, so you're not reducing your space allowed in the grow room yeah, just yeah. for filtration. Um, and then obviously, if you you know, if you needed a particularly quiet fans, yeah, um, then you can. Yeah, definitely straight towards the Isomax yeah. and the SMP as well. You know, super silent and still remove the air that you require them to move. Right. But what if you really needed to move, a, you know, a lot of air in a big room? You know, obviously, which yeah, a lot of air. Um, obviously, the tornado will move a lot of air. The price is a little bit more, mm. uh, but obviously, you pay for what you get. Um, but very, very quiet as well. Also, with the user with insulated ducting. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. We've had a look at them all. Thanks very much for talking through them with us. Thank you. Uh, see you next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is going in. <laughs> <laughs>